Hello everyone and welcome to today's painting tutorial. So today I'm going to be taking you through how I paint a Venari Dawn Rider Steed's flesh and the hair as well. So for this particular horse I'm going to be using grey tones. So I'm going to be starting off with uh, roughly a 50-50 mix of Griff Charger Grey and Contrast Medium. And I'm just going to begin applying that pretty evenly all over the steed's flesh and hair. One thing I'd recommend with contrast paints as well is try and get all of the base coats down if you plan on using uh, contrast paint over the majority of a miniature, as it's just a lot easier to correct it later on if you do happen to make you know, a mistake or two. And now that the Griff Charger Grey contrast paint is dry, I'm going to be moving on to a base coat of Gracia. Apologies, I forgot to actually show uh, the Gracia uh, for the video. But uh, yeah, that's the base coat that I'll be using for this next step. And I did decide to do two thin coats of this. But it's entirely up to you as to how you go about it. And now I'm just going to be applying the second coat of Gracia. I would recommend that you do this uh, as it does give a smoother finish. I don't always tend to use a second thin coat, but in this case, it was definitely worthwhile. And as I mentioned in my previous video, this is where I love contrast paints because even with just a simple base coat of a contrast paint and then one base coat or highlight, it already looks quite cool. But for this next step, you're going to be moving on to Orthorn Grey. Uh, for this highlight, just make sure you have a nice consistency with uh, paint to water ratio. As you can see, it's quite smooth. and just begin carefully applying that. And as always with each highlight, you just wanna make sure that you leave just a little bit of the previous color.
And I just wanted to mention as well, as you can see, uh, I do move my miniatures around quite a bit to just get a really comfortable angle when uh, painting my miniatures. So definitely something worth practicing. And now with the Ulthorn Grey Dry, I'm going to be moving on to Corax White for the next highlight. At this point, if you are happy with how it's looking, you don't necessarily have to go these extra steps. But of course, um, if you do decide to, it always just adds that little bit more. And as you can see, not a lot on my brush for this particular highlight. And for those new to my channel as well, I have mentioned in uh, previous videos the brush that I tend to use for fine de detail. Uh, but just in case uh, you might have missed that, it's a Raphael 8404, size 1. And with the Corax white now applied, you can see it's really come together quite well. And I'm going to be moving on to white scar for this next step. And this will be the final step for the flesh. And originally I was just going to do the flesh uh, for this particular video, but I did decide to add in the eyes and the horse's hair as well. And as you can see here, I'm just doing a sort of dabbing motion. Uh, never be afraid to try different ways of highlighting. I mean, you never have to just limit yourself to just doing, for example, sort of like straight line highlights, things like that. Uh, as there are a multitude of different ways you can do different styles of highlights. Particularly for something like this, where it's in a hard to reach sort of place. Uh, down by the lower end of the horse's neck, for example.
So with the horse's flesh done, I'm going to be moving on to the eyes now. And I'm going to be using Abaddon Black as a base coat. Some people call it Abaddon Black. I'm not sure whether or not that is the correct pronunciation. Uh, perhaps I've got it wrong. I do prefer saying Abaddon, though. Uh, and I'm sticking to it. So, for this part, it's really just mostly about positioning, as you can see there. Just switch sides, make yourself comfortable whilst painting. And of course, making sure you have a nice consistency with this. You don't want it too thick or too runny, uh, as you definitely don't want it to run into the uh, flesh that you've just painted. And as you can see right here, I did make a small mistake. I went a little bit too far down, but quickly washing the paint off your brush and I'm gonna grab some white scar and just quickly fix that up. So in moments like that, just never panic too much uh, because you can definitely fix it up. And with the Abaddon Black dry, now I'm just going to be moving on to White Scar. And as you can see, barely anything on my brush at all. Just being really, really careful and just dabbing on to the eye there just to finish that off. And as you can see as well, I did decide to go back and add a little bit more White Scar. So with the flesh and the eyes now done, we're going to be moving on to the hair. Now I have done an additional coat of Griff Charger Grey just on the hair. As you can see here, it's uh, quite darker now. So for the first highlight, I'm going to be using Fenrisian Grey. As I decided, I wanted a sort of blue-grey tone for the hair just to sort of separate it a little bit more from the uh, tone of the uh, flesh. And with the Fenrisian Grey now dry, I'm going to be moving on to Blue Horror for the next step.
And now with the blue horror dry as a final highlight, I just wanted to go back to White Scar. Just to really bring out uh, the blue gray tones there for the hair. And with that final highlight, the steed is now complete. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. Now I should mention for, just for the purposes of this video, I just showed the steed's head obviously, but the same uh, process applies for the rest of the horse's body and the tail. And here is a completed photo of the miniature. So I have a few different tutorials coming up guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.